Hey everybody, welcome to today's show. Welcome to Equality and Rights for All. I'm your host, Anthony LaRuda Duke, and we have a great topic for today's show in which it is marriage equality, women's rights, and mental health, the ACA, and health coverage. Now, let's get right into this. Marriage equality, this is such an important thing, okay? For years upon years and years, LGBT advocates have been fighting for this, and under the Obama administration, it became law. It became the law of the land, and this is not about taking marriage rights away from uh, from straight couples, okay? This is about sharing. This is about marriage, and the title, listen to the words, marriage equality. Same things that straight couples get, LGBT couples are entitled to the same thing, okay? But you have these religious conservatives who spread hate, okay? And they keep saying, and of course they're also Trump supporters as well, they keep saying... No gay couples should be able to get married and have equal rights and equal benefits like straight couples do. That's not right to say. Come on. Listen, your marriage is your marriage, but don't take away anybody else's marriage happiness. Okay? You don't like gay marriage? Don't be in one. Any straight person any straight couple that's against marriage equality, here's what I say all the time. Gay marriage has nothing to do with you. You're not in one. So mind your own effing business. All right? Worry about, because you're so religious, worry about your effing priests that go around molesting little children. Worry about your own damn marriage. And and worry about if your if your spouse is not cheating on you. You know those quote unquote straight guys that are going in private places and getting a blow job by another guy. Well, let's and let's see how many uh, straight couples are cheating on one another. How many straight couples are getting divorces like crazy, which is a sin too, by the way. If you're if you're a Bible person. If you're a true Bible person, if you say you are, it's against, it's against uh, uh, the Bible to get a divorce. It's in the Bible that specifically says it. Divorce is a sin. So worry about your own fucking marriage. Don't worry about, worry about everybody else's. Worry about your own damn stuff. Worry about... Uh, uh, this a straight religious person that's uh, um, getting a, a minor girl pregnant and spreading just to have her pop out, you know, a hundred babies and whatever. And then they hide behind the Bible. The Bible says to be fruitful and plenty. Does the Bible say to molest a, a, a minor child? To go after minors? Does the Bible say that? But they do it. They do it. So worry about your own damn marriage. All right? And real religion is about love and peace and equality. So if you're not practicing that, then you're not devoted to God. All right? So... Now let's get right into the second one, women's rights. Women should have a right to determine what's right for their own body. Okay? Now, on one side of the coin, you got a lot of females that go out to party and whatever, and then they get pregnant, and and then many of them want to uh, pop out a baby and to collect government benefits, just to collect government benefits. And that's not right, really, okay? But um, 
But if the baby, if the baby is healthy, right, and you know what you did, then put the child up for adoption. Now let's look at the other side of the coin. There's many women that get molested, illegally molested, and then they, they then they end up getting cancer, and then the, the the baby that they're carrying has cancer, and you know they can't afford to have a child, so they end up doing the abortion. So, um. That's why I'm 50-50 on abortion. Now, if you did get molested, like I said in a prior episode, do a rape kit. If you got raped or molested or whatever, do the rape kit. Stop this bullshit. Oh, I don't want my family to know. Oh, it's against my religion. Fuck that. To hell with that. You have to do the rape kit. Okay? And again, if if you be, if the woman becomes sick, uh, if her her life and her health is in danger, and if the baby's life and health is in danger, then clearly the abortion would be the right thing to do. But like I said in the prior example, if for those that just want to go out and party and then spread their legs and uh and whatever else. And if the woman is healthy, and if the baby is truly healthy, can't hide behind, well, I was on drugs, I didn't know what I was doing. Bull crap. If the woman is healthy, and if the baby is healthy, then put the baby up for adoption. If you can't have that, you know, you can't raise a child, put the child up for adoption, and... Hopefully, some you know for a couple who can have a baby can actually uh, adopt a child. Then, so like I said, I've always been fifty-fifty on the abortion thing. And but a woman should have a right to choose what's right for her own body. Seriously. Now let's get into the last section: mental health, the ACA, and health coverage. Very important things. And, you know, mental health is very serious, okay? It's important. And there's a lot of people out there who say, well, if you, if you can't see the disability, then it's not, then it's really, you really don't have it. And wrong. Just because they don't show it up front doesn't mean that it's not there. So come on, people. Mental health is very important. And there's a lot of people suffering from it, especially, especially many of our veterans who come back home from fighting overseas. Many of them have PTSD, which stands for post-traumatic stress disorder. And that does go under the title of mental health. And so even for them, for them, can't take away mental health, uh, mental health, uh, uh, Rights for them? Come on. For police officers that have shot people, kill people, even for the first time, many of them have a PTSD after that. So don't take that away from them either. But then there is also the hereditary thing that has meant uh, many people do have mental health issues that are hereditary. Don't take that away from them. Just because you can't see it, just because it's not up front, doesn't mean that it's not there. Now, that also ties into the, to the ACA, okay? With this um, judge that that's Trump's pick, that's going to be, that's clearly going to be approved by the Senate before the year is up, she is uh, one of the people that is against the ACA. The Affordable Care Act, and uh, Trump wants to get rid of it. This judge clearly wants to get rid of it, and um, that's not right for the people because the ACA has helped millions and millions of people that did not have health coverage get health coverage. Because when you're for people who do not have health coverage and they end up going to a hospital to a doctor, if they don't have health coverage, 
that raises the cost of hospitals and doctors and, and so on because somebody's got to foot that bill. So to have people covered lowers health care costs. Okay? For people with pre-existing conditions already are uh, already covered under the ACA. Okay? And especially with this uh, epidemic going on with this COVID-19 going on, this is so important to still have. So if you take away the ACA, okay, it's called the domino effect. It's going to ruin healthcare coverage. And this epidemic, this COVID-19, is already making healthcare coverage go into a, a bigger frenzy as if it wasn't already in a frenzy. It just made that frenzy even worse. So come on. We're better than this, people. So I want to remind all my fans out there about my business, my website, which is Advocate Information Highway, and the link to there is awldny.com. You guys could check out all the pages on there. And once I'm done hosting an episode of this show, I will host another episode of my show, Advocate Information Highway, on YouTube, and we'll be discussing the same topics there. And so with that, take care, everybody. Bye.